Hey there, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to easily install and use any VST plugins in SoundBridge. It's super easy, you can do it in less than five minutes, so let me show you. So first of all, what are VSTs? VSTs are additional programs that digital audio workstations can use. When you open SoundBridge, if you click into your plugin panel, which is gonna be this one, you're going to see three folders, FX, VST2, and VST3. FX is where all the stock plugins that come with SoundBridge are installed, so you should probably see this already. Now, VST2 and VST3 are where all your third-party plugins are going to be installed. So if you just installed SoundBridge, they're probably gonna be empty, me, they're full because I already installed a bunch. VST2 and VST3 are just two different formats that most VST comes into, and usually it comes in both, so it doesn't matter. So today I wanna to show you how to install Rhythmix, which is one of the third-party plugins from SoundBridge. So for this, I'm gonna to have to close SoundBridge first, and then I'm going to run the install. All right, so for now, nothing complex, just agree, continue, I accept, next. Now, this is where it becomes interesting and this is where you need to pay attention. So the location of your VST is what you're gonna have to remember. Here on Mac, it's all automated, so I'm just gonna choose the default settings. You can do the same on Windows. Same for the drum kit, I'm just gonna use the default location. But remember that it says Library Audio Plugins VST3, all right? So click next, then install, and just wait for it to install. All right, once it's done, we can open SoundBridge again. And now what you're gonna have to do is to go into the preferences, so by hitting P on your keyboard, or you can also find it here in options, preferences. Then you're going to go into plugin locations over here. And as you can see here, I already have two locations. If you just installed SoundBridge, it would be empty. There would be nothing. This is where you would have to click the add directory button and then go to that location that you remembered from the installation, which is library, audio, plugins, VST3, and VST because VST is for the VST2. So I would just hit choose here. Just a quick note, if you decide to install your plugins on, for example, an external SSD to save some uh, CPU on your PC or Mac, just make sure to choose all the locations that you have plugins installed so that they can scan them all. So if it's the first time that you're using SoundBridge, I would click the full rescan so that it scans all the plugins that you have installed in this location. If not, just hit find new because it's gonna be much faster. So for example, for me, I would click find new. There you go, pretty fast. So if I go to VST3 and I search for Rhythmix, there you go, it's here. So all I would have to do here is to drag and drop here. And there you go, I have my new plugin. Quick note as well, if you are using the 64-bit version of SoundBridge, you need to install the 64-bit version of your plugins and vice versa, if you use the 32-bit version of SoundBridge, install 32-bit plugins, otherwise it's not gonna be working, so just be careful of that. One last little thing for you to note is if we go back to the preferences with the P hotkey and you go to plugins here I would turn on this one plugin scan mode over here because it's gonna allow Sunbridge to open faster as it's going to scan for plugins every time in the background so it's just gonna be just a better lifestyle for you hit ok and now you're pretty much ready to go and you can repeat this exact same process for any VST plugin it works with any of them. If there's anything else you'd like to know how to do in SoundBridge, don't hesitate to let us know in the comments. We'll make a video for you. But for now, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss any of the upcoming tutorials. Bye.